Isabel. And I'm Gabby. As the U.S. experiences a new surge in COVID-19 cases, the Red Cross is becoming increasingly concerned about the nation's blood supply, including plasma. A plasma, do a plasma donation collects plasma from COVID-19 survivors because antibodies to the disease in their blood may help patients who are currently fighting the virus. Increased hospitalization of patients with coronavirus this fall and winter has caused the Red Cross to distribute a record number of COVID-19 plasma products to hospitals treating patients who are battling the virus. With more on the Red Cross and the country singer Martina McBride's campaign on obtaining more donors, here is Liv. The American Red Cross and country's music star Martina McBride have joined together this holiday season to remind people to take care of one another, sharing comfort and joy with hospital patients through the gift of blood donation. Health emergencies don't pause for a pandemic or holiday celebrations. The Red Co Cross needs the help of blood donors across the country now to ensure patients continue to have access to life-saving blood. This holiday season, Martina McBride is reaching out to country music fans and all eligible individuals. If nobody has ever asked you to give blood before, I'm asking you to give blood, especially during this trying time. Monday, the head of the branch of the Justice Department that prosecutes election crimes stepped down in protest to Attorney General William Barr authorizing prosecutors to investigate specific allegations of voter fraud before the, the results of the presidential election are certified. Richard Pilger, who was the director of the election crimes branch, said in an email to his colleagues he can no longer do his job in wake of Barr's directive, which was issued as President Trump's legal team piled legal challenges alleging that voter fraud cost him the election. Pilger is remaining at the Justice Department in another post. This comes not long after Trump fired Director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, Christopher Krebs, who vouched for the re reliability of the election. Kerry Wolganovitz, an ex manliest police officer, finally settled a 2017 lawsuit for 200000 where she stated she was sexually harassed and discriminated against based on her gender. The police officer will be receiving $200,000 for the lawsuit of workplace discrimination and harassment. The police department will be required to train for a hostile work environment and gender discrimination. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Theater happens here. Live stream Spartan Stage's performance of All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten on Friday, 11.20 and Saturday, 11.21 at 7 p.m. by purchasing a streaming pass at esmchs.booktix.com for only $2.50. Due to circumstances beyond our control, the opening of the Spartan branch has been postponed. We apologize for the inconvenience and will notify everyone when a new opening date has been set. Thank you for your understanding and patience. The wait room hours have changed and the wait room will now be open at 325 Monday through Friday until sports study hall resumes. See Coach Esbacher with questions. You may be asking, you might be asking, what can you do to help? Megan Filmer and Olivia Gubkowski are ch cherishing this year's BSM blood drive. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. When is the next drive and who can participate? Um, so the next drive is tomorrow until 4. And anyone can donate that is 16 and older. And it's only to staff and students this year. And if you are 16, you will need to fill out a parental consent form. And that form can be found on the Red Cross um, website and or you could go to B4 with Mr. Mussolino. How many donors are you looking to get in the day? Um, so due to the pandemic, we're looking for 20 to 30 people to donate. Is there anything else we should know? Um, after you do donate, you can receive a free t-shirt to show that you donated and were a part of your community, if that's any incentive for you. So, yeah. Nicole, are you planning on giving when you are eligible? Based on what I've heard, I'm not old enough to donate, unfortunately, but if I was, I, if I was eligible, I would love to do anything that would help out. 
Um, moving into weather, today will be breezy with sun and clouds and of highs in the low 50s. Friday will be mostly cloudy with highs in the low to mid 40s. This weekend will be cloudy with a chance of rain and the highs will be in the 40s. Monday will have showers throughout the day with highs in the mid to upper 40s. Tuesday will be cool with highs in the upper 30s. And Wednesday will have a chance of rain with highs in the mid 40s. I'm Nicole with your weather. The need for O positive blood is high because it is the most frequently occurring blood type, 37% of the population, and you can do a special donation. Mr. Ferris, you have O positive. What does that mean about your donation? Well, that's really personal, right? I, now you know my blood type. Uh, Power Red is similar to a whole blood donation, except a special machine is used to allow you to safely donate two units of red blood cells during one donation and while returning your plasma and platelets back to you or to me. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Oh my God, does it hurt? No, it doesn't. I think the most painful thing is probably the finger prick that they start with. And then after that, the blood draw is not too bad. Uh, the nice thing about being a power red donor is that you receive an IV of fluids and most of your blood back. So you actually feel more refreshed not to mention, they do a COVID antibody testing if you donate right now, so it's kind of neat to see that uh, where you stand. And once again, you never know whose life you may be saving. Maybe it will be someone you love. And I've given 13 units, and my biggest regret was not starting when I was your age. So I could, be way, I could probably be up in the 30s or 40s. All Spartan varsity teams this fall earned the Scholar Athlete Team Award. Congratulations athletes and coaches. Also, it has been officially announced that high-risk high winter sports will begin on January 4th of 2021 and confirmed that low-medium risk will begin November 30th of this year. Former Syracuse star Elijah Hughes was drafted with the 39th overall pick by the New Orleans Pelicans and was traded to the Utah Jazz. When he found out he was picked, he said, and after he told me that, my heart stopped. My heart stopped beating. I'm, just, I'm not trying to be funny. My heart really stopped beating. I kind of lost it for a bit. Tonight on Thursday Night Football, the Seattle Seahawks will take on the Arizona Cardinals in a rematch of, might, of what might have been the best game of the season so far. The winner of this game will control first place in the NFC West. Last night was the NBA draft. With the first overall pick, the Minnesota Timberwolves selected Georgia shooting guard Anthony Edwards. And with the second overall pick in the Golden State or in the NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors selected center James Wiseman from Memphis. And with the third pick in the, in the 2020 NBA draft, the Char Charlotte Hornets selected Lamelo Ball, who played overseas last season in Australia. With this pick, Lonzo and Lamelo became the first brothers to both be drafted in the top five in NBA history. And the Naisman Player of the Year, Obi Toppin, was drafted eighth overall to the New York Knicks. I'm tied with sports. That's all the time we have today. So from me, Gabby, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.